For it TV, the world is thinking. Take the issue of immigration policy. That's one of the most vexed and difficult issues roiling American politics. Gary Becker is a Nobel Prize winning free market economist at the University of Chicago. He's come up with a solution to the immigration debate. To resolve the debate over whom to admit, the U.S. should simply set a price and sell American citizenship for $50,000 or maybe $100,000. That's his proposal. And he points out that immigrants who are willing to pay a large entrance fee would automatically have desirable characteristics. <laughs> They would likely be young, he says, skilled, ambitious, hardworking, and, best of all, unlikely to make use of welfare or unemployment benefits. Becker also suggests that charging admission would make it easier to decide which refugees to accept, namely those sufficiently motivated to pay the price. Here's, here I'm quoting. For obvious reasons, political refugees and those persecuted in their own countries would be willing to pay a sizable fee to gain admission. So a fee system would avoid time-consuming hearings about whether they really are in physical danger if they were forced to return home. Now, you may think that asking a refugee fleeing persecution to hand over $50,000 is callous. So let's consider another, and here I want to get your views about it. Let's consider, and Tom will see what people have to say. Consider another proposal that's been offered, this by an American law professor, to find more homes for, for refugees in need of asylum using a market mechanism, but not requiring the refugees themselves to pay. A more humane version. I want to get your view and hear what people have to say about this. Suppose the international community got together and allocated quotas to countries based on wealth for the number of refugees they would have to accept each year. This is the proposal. And to persuade countries to go along and to accept fairly high quotas of refugees, use a market that would enable each country, once it had its quota, to pay some other country to take refugees it might not want. So, for example, Japan has high per capita GDP, would be assigned, let's say, 20,000 refugees a year. Japan doesn't like to take in a lot of refugees. So they, under this proposal, could pay Poland or Uganda to take its quota of refugees. Now, from the standpoint of market reasoning, this is, oh, everybody gains. Poland or Uganda gets a new source of revenue. Japan is able to fulfill its international obligations without having to take in all those refugees. And more refugees are found homes than would otherwise be given asylum. So here's an interesting test of the use of the market to allocate a good, so to speak, in a way that arguably does what markets do best, making all parties better off.